Hey, hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome back to Dismantle. Picking up here at our little farm where we almost destroyed the walls of the only building that's possibly safe. But, uh, yeah, other than that, we are just waiting on our plants here. I mentioned at the end of the last one I was going to wait on these. Uh, they haven't grown yet. I just thought I'd, uh, you know, say hello, introduce things, and get us going. And then I'm going to just cut uh, in a second and wait until these actually update. I don't know if there's going to be different stages or how that's going to work, but I figure that's probably... Probably priority number one for us right now. Other than that, we will probably just continue on from last time. Continue exploring the area, collecting resources, all that good stuff. Uh, looks like we do have a fair bit to explore, despite uh, this area being way smaller than expected. Which uh, is interesting, honestly. Like, when you look at that, like, it's a lot of water, man. And it's making me realize, um, yeah, this map may be smaller than I realize. Like, it's still going to be pretty damn big, I think. But, yeah, it's going to... Because there is sort of a rough outline, it seems like. So, I don't know. Maybe we still were just sort of starting off in a small area, but then, you know, some of these are probably completely filled in like that. If that outline holds. Yeah, I don't know. I also noticed, like, well, I'd seen it before, but the temperature stuff. I'm wondering how much that's going to come into play. Yeah. I don't know, I was just like looking around at some things when, uh, in between. I, I didn't finish the last episode that long ago, so I'm sort of just continuing on. So, <laughs> if I get confused and say, reference things that I said in the last one, that's, uh, yeah, well, that happens sometimes when I do that. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, have quite a bit of resource collecting to do, I would say. I think we'll try and, like I said, focus on exploring, grab the things we need, and then... Have a time where you sort of sit down and clear out area by area and can sort of skip along a bit of that because I think it's, I don't know, I'm still trying to find a bit of a balance, but like long term thinking about playing this whole thing, gonna have to sort of find a pattern for that because I don't want to spend the whole time just like, or half the time, you know, smashing down stuff. But uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're still enjoying this because I really am, you know, it was, uh, it sort of sucked to have that break there because it was over a week easily since I'd played it last. Which was not my intention, but, you know, insomnia is what it is. You can only... It's it's an uphill battle. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Feeling better now, which is good. Anyway, I'm going to start rambling already, so, yeah. I just hope you're all doing well, and I'll update you once these are grown. And then, hopefully we can uh, get another backpack upgrade today. Hopefully we get the crowbar upgrade and the bag of blood upgrade, I think. That's, that's probably a good goal. We'll see how we go, though. So I was just collecting a few leaves while we were waiting here, and I just realized there's some berries here. Yeah, yeah, just straight up berries. Very nice. And yeah, there's a few zombies in the way here, just clearing out. Uh, I thought, yeah, I thought I might as well clear some of these. Um, because what something I haven't paid attention to is if these regrow. That'd be interesting. I was going to knock down this fence, but... I don't know, I kind of like this little area. It's just not very stable. Like, we could tear down this whole room like nothing. <laughs> uh... Anyway, it's actually getting on, so I don't know, maybe we'll chill around here, do a little gathering, harvest these, and sleep, and then we'll start our main sort of day, yeah, after a bit of rest. Yeah, that could be good. Okay, so I just realized, we can literally just cross the border here. Like, they, they're they just lines. I mean, I feel like I should have realized that, but... Yeah, so I guess, because like, we had this sequence that went through all of this when we went to here. But yeah, we can actually run just straight back up to this fence here. I uh, didn't realize that. I mean, it's like obvious, but at the same time. Yeah. Uh, the cage suburb. I thought that only popped up when you discovered somewhere new. But also, pretty good source of leaves I'm just seeing here. That could be good. <laughs> All you guys are respawning. Well, of course. We had nicely cleared that place out at one point. Uh, oh, hello. More berries. Very good. But yeah, it's like super close to where we were. I'm just over here. And back. Yeah. I don't know. It's just interesting. Like, maybe... The world is small, like, bigger than it seems, maybe? I mean, I feel like there's still a lot, to be fair. Probably gonna take a while to get through it all. Oh, this is a circle on it now. Oh. Boom. Oh, wait. Gotta put them away. Oh, nice. The first harvest successful and promised a perpetual source of sustenance. 
Oh, nice. We're nearly level 11. Hell yeah. Because that uh, next combat thing unlocks at 11, so that'll be good. Okay, so we got two out of that. And yeah, because there's that. All right. Do we just want to replant them then? Oh, that didn't go away. Like as I said, I said like maybe these would actually go away. Um, and you need to keep replanting, getting more leaves. It's still possible that's a thing, but maybe it takes moldable. Hmm. Okay. And that was... 20 minutes. So yeah, they should they should only be a couple of minutes away then. Nice. Very nice. Okay, it's been a few more minutes than I was thinking on these. I don't know if we could like, leave the air and come back to make it update or... Also, though, I was just thinking, like, I, I said about upgrading the bag of blood, but this might become a low priority. Because if we can just keep harvesting tomatoes, I mean, seriously, it seems like such easy max hit, hit points. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just how it is. Like, it just feels like it goes from, like, a small escalating thing. Like, we've been able to get ourselves up to plus 40. But then suddenly we're going to be at, like, plus 100 in no time sort of thing. I don't know. I mean, maybe you need that, though. Like... Those dogs and so, sort of hammered us, and yeah, I don't know. But yeah, these are taking a little. I don't know. Was was I really rambling that long in between between the carrot and them? Although that carrot's, hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep waiting here because I guess that'd be good to know if you do have to have it like reload or something. I don't know. Hmm. Yes, head scratch indeed. Oh, there we go, that's the first one. So, hmm. Okay, I'm thinking that like, for the sake of a real test, I think we need to plant one and leave it, don't we? Like that, that would be the smart thing to do. Yeah. So maybe let's do that. Um, yeah, I think we, that's, that's really the smart way to go, isn't it? Hold that in. So we'll put one there. And we'll just leave it. We'll, we'll leave that for, like, to the end of the episode or something, I think. Because if these don't go away... I mean, it, I just feel like there has to be something here. Like, because it's... Like, it either has to be, at the very least, these only last a couple and they go away, so you've got to always harvest leaves. Or you can only use the recipe so many times. Or there's only a short harvest window before they go rotten, so you can lose them, like... I feel like there has to be something, because if there's not at least one of those things, it's 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 OP as shit. Like that's that's sort of how I'm looking at it, so. Cause even right now, like we could harvest both of these, make some two suit bam, that's level 50. Although actually. Oh. And I meant HP 50, not our level 50, but. I think, unless I'm misremembering, didn't we try and eat something, like, too soon and it said, like, we're not hungry yet or something? So maybe even if you can make a ton of these, you can only eat once per day? Is that what it is? Ah, we might actually make one tomato soup with one of, like, we'll, yeah, we'll make with one of these and we'll plant with the other. Because if you can only eat once a day... That would shift things quite a bit. You would still have the ability to do a lot, but it would take a lot longer. Yeah, I get the feeling that maybe that is a thing. Hmm, okay. Well. Yeah, okay. Let's let's um let's cook one then. Cook over here. Uh just do three of those, right? Oh, I guess we can just Oh, right, you can just press that, okay. You already have maximum HP. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Is, is that the slap in the face I've been looking for but not really wanting? You can only cook meals once? Oh, is that, because I was like, I, I could have swore we'd cooked like two lots of tomato soup and I was confused about our HP. But then I thought, oh no, I must have only cooked one, but maybe that was it. 
I did maybe cook two. I could still be wrong about that, but I, maybe that was what it was. Cook again, so... Ah. Uh, so you can literally only do a recipe once. Okay, man, that makes... Yeah, alright. That suddenly makes sense, doesn't it? Ah. Okay. Huh. Not really sure what to do about that. I mean, I guess still having a good supply of these equals HP, so... Ah, wow, alright. Well, that, that certainly changes things a bit, doesn't it? Ah, uh, I guess we may as well plant these, though. We're not really... Ah, wow, alright. I guess we sort of want to get the... Oh, right, you clicked that. I didn't even... I just went to do that for some reason. Um, yeah, I guess we want the potatoes and carrots then, and we want to do some fishing, because that'll get us one. But yeah, ah, alright. Touche. Touche game. I thought it seemed too easy. So I was, I was right, I just didn't know how right. Uh... Damn, man. I kind of... Like, I felt like it needed to have some limitation, but I kind of wasn't expecting it would be that we could only cook them once. Ah, uh, it's kind of rough. Hmm. Well, no matter. We'll harvest these in a normal way. That one will be our test. And it's getting a little late, so... Wait, what do we need to upgrade our sleeping bag, actually? Because it seems like it would actually be a good thing to... Upgrade that. Oh, we need hide. Yeah, so we can go from six to eight hours. I think that would actually be nice. Um, we also need hide for again for the backpack. So maybe we'll spend a little bit of time on that. Because that won't take long. I think the, the best way to do that, honestly, is probably to... Uh, where is it? It would be there. Oh, yeah, we didn't really have far. Yeah. But to camp there. Kill those one or two that spawn there. Depending on if they run, and then just keep repeating that on a camp. I think that's probably the way to go. Um, I don't know if we should be going for the link towers too. Or link relays, I should say. Where are they all? Oh wow, yeah. I don't know if, like, have we suddenly opened up a lot of the game? Like, should we be traveling around a lot more? I don't know. Hmm. Um, also... What do we need for the fishing rod then, since that's uh, suddenly got more relevance to us? What do we need for that? Oh! Oh, that's nothing, okay. That's easy as shit. Well then. Um, though I, I kind of hate that there's a, a thing in there. Like, this would actually be a nice little safe spot for us, except that as soon as we sleep that's respawned, so... Anyway. Um, yeah, let's grab the fishing rod then. That's like, yeah, it's nothing. I wonder if it'll be upgradable at all. Used to catch fish. Do we have access to any water, actually? I'm not sure on that now that I think about it. Um, as for anything else, I think we're fine. These shock absorbers are open to us now, but I don't really want to use the ceramics. This is something we should probably try and get sooner than later. Oh, we could make a compass. I mean, I feel like that's jumping ahead, because... What the hell was that? Oh, okay. That's what happens when you press F1, apparently. Okay. Um... Yeah, we still, like, the scrap electronics hasn't been that common, but I think there's still plenty of stuff around. There's TVs we can smash and things, I think. But it's the, I don't know, they're both useful. We sort of, we do, we do need this for a quest, though, don't we? Uh, yeah, stop, yeah. So, we probably want to do that. I want the compass, but to be fair... Right now, that just means being able to jump to here. Oh, that's... 
Why has that got a thing? Oh, is that... That's probably that quest, is it? Um... Yeah, maybe we'll focus on that. I, I don't really care about the link relays other than that, but I do want to focus on the quests, because it's good XP as well. So maybe we'll actually try and get that done then. Yeah. Oop, you're ready to harvest. Let's do that before we sleep. Oh, shit. That was a successful harvest. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure how that was going to go. Uh, can we... What happens if we... Okay. I wasn't sure if they could work for my inventory or not. That's good. Very good. Uh, they shouldn't be far off, but... Let's, uh, have a bit of a sleep. Shouldn't be anything else we need to do. Do that. I'm not sleepy just yet. I slept like... Oh! Oh! I assumed you could sleep every night, but I guess not. Oh crap, okay. Didn't really expect that to happen. So how often can you sleep? I said 13 hours ago, maybe you have to wait 16 hours? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well then. Where do we want to go now? <laughs> uh... Well, I guess we, hmm, yeah, there's a few, we, we sort of do need resources right now, don't we? Like a few specific things. So, do we have any other, so there's a house down there, it looks like there's a couple houses there. Do we sort of want to get some TVs or something, I think, right now? Um... Yeah, we sort of need ceramics, plastic, iron, electronics. It's sort of a right. There's some things here we could probably get. I'm trying to leave this area for now. Uh, kind of sucks that everything's respawned without us getting the daylight, but no matter. I mean, it's not bad at night, to be fair. Like, you can actually see pretty well. It's more just that it's nice during the day. Uh, don't know what I just clicked. I guess let's go to the gas station again for now. Um, there's probably a few things we can get there. I'm curious if there is a, um, a rest area closer to this, though. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Seem like, yeah, those little, little thingies like that, they seem to always, well, they generally seem to be reliable. Hmm. Oh, there's another house there. Any of those little thingies down here? Oh, that might be one. Looks a little different. Yeah, there's a few houses around, so I think we can get what we want. Uh, let's clear these guys out. Especially them. Oh, that was a... Kind of sketchy. Did I actually get hit? I took a little bit of damage, but I don't know exactly what it was. Hmm. Alright, let's get a few of you down. Don't really want them skulking about while we're looting. Um right, do you open? Yes you do. Good. Definitely some nice resources in there. But there's also one of those dogs out the back. So, that's a bit awkward. Special message for the dear inhabitants of Capernaum. Your mighty walls will keep the monsters at bay. Sleep tightly. You are safe and loved. This oh. is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay. Kind of weird. But yeah, I said, like, that come out like 4 slash 22 or whatever. But we can break this. And we actually need to... Oh, there's any oh, I thought there was electronics in there. Well, we got some from something. Uh, so... Ooh, that's, that's rubber, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I don't know if that's worth dealing with, or... just dangerous to deal with. Hmm. I don't know if they're gonna actually come at us, because there's doors in the way. How do they deal with doors? 
You're full alert. I'm not doing anything. I don't know. I don't know if they can... I assume they don't function with doors, but... I just keep whacking stuff. Probably be good to know. Yeah, they're hitting maximum, but they don't seem to spawn, so... I think that's fine. Uh... Yeah, we're not going to be able to carry everything here, are we? I wish there was some... Uh, that's... That's actually very close, isn't it? That's not far at all. Alright, let's... Let's go straight down. Oop. Come back. Ooh, that worked. Oh, we won't be able to grab them. Okay. So we'll go straight down. That way we can have a nice, clear sort of... Thing. Not worry about anything attacking us while we're dropping loot off. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty simple. Drop those off. I think we'll do a little bit more. Oh shit, we're almost level 11. I'd be very curious to see what the next combat thing is. Uh, let's make sure we grab them berries. Oh, there we go, level 11. Nice one. Oh, machete! I've leveled up. Yes, you have. Cooking stand. Cool, cool. Machete, eh? Okay. I wonder what that's going to be like. Because... Hmm. Because I don't know if that's really going to be the same category as the... The crowbar. Hmm. They could be just a uh, different... Yeah, they could all be different categories. Hmm. Very curious about that now. Uh, oh, can we break you? What about with you? What does this gonna give? Oh, that's just scrap metal, right? Yeah, we broke one of them previously. Uh, yeah, we should check what the machete does. I'm curious about its minimum damage and obviously what it's gonna require to upgrade. I imagine we can probably do the first couple of upgrades, no problem. Unless it's gonna be something crazy. Uh, oh, that corn's probably grown. So let's grab what we left here. Head back and harvest. And we should be able to sleep as well. Or getting close to it. Uh, make sure we break everything. Well, not everything, but... Oh, wait, these, yes. Pretty sure these have electronics, right? Yes. Ah, I forget about them. It's so easy to forget things that just sort of blend in. But yeah, that's uh, that's good. What about these? Can we break these? No. Oh, got a car search. And we have some rubber. Awesome. Not that. There we go. Awesome. Very good. Let's head back to our little farm. I really wish it was safer, like, there's something just strangely disappointing about the fact that we have, like, this little area, but it's not quite safe, you know? I don't know. Oh, they're not done yet. Really? How long do they take? Are they... Oh, 50 minutes. Ah, okay, okay. I'll still be a little bit then. Alright, very good. Uh, wait, we can see it in here, can't we? Uh, do, 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 do. machete, machete, machete. Can we not see it until we camp? That might be the case. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, right, right, we got these. Choose between four skills instead of three when leveling up. Oh, that's... Interesting. Unlock animal treats recipe. Animal friendless makes you less afraid of you. Okay. Oh. I mean, that's interesting, but it does, it does feel a little wasteful. This one... Eh. We might be going on that, which I do want those. I just want to feel like I'm being, you know, getting the most out of it. 
This one sounds somewhat useful, but not like not that useful. Yeah, let's go with that one. I'm happy with that. Let's see, is that a... Yeah, nice. And with one more backpack upgrade. Ooh, it's going to be so good. Is that, yeah, it's going to be great. We just need six hide. Ooh, we can definitely do that. Uh, machete, though. What do you need, my friend? Oh, okay. Oh, 30 is a base. Damn. Ooh, all right. We do need iron for other things. Ugh. But I feel like we want the machete more. Oh, right, it says damage slashing. Is that how it's typed then, maybe? Because that's slashing. That's blunt. Maybe that's how it's grouped up then. Uh, this is interesting that this is slashing as well, though, because... Doesn't that sort of... Is this going to, like, be completely... Uh, redundant, like, within a single upgrade of this? Critical hit demo, power attack demo... Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that yet. I mean... I, yeah, I still don't know what this e extra obstacle melee targets thing is. Oh... Oh, is that meaning being able to hit more than one thing when you swing? I reckon that's what that means. Um, yeah, screw it. We can get more iron. That's fine. I mean, what a pri prioritized quest, but still. Oh, we need more iron for that, okay. So, what's the upgrade gonna be? Oh yes, yeah, so that goes up by five. They're like, our crowbar only goes up by four. Which means a single upgrade to this and it's going to match the damage of the sickle, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, alright, I guess we, we need iron then. Plastics too, obviously. Um, but yeah, because we, we want... Let's camp again. Oops. Like, we want the link tower kit. We want the compass. We're going to want that. So yeah, it seems like the electronics and iron is actually the main things we need right now. And then plastic as well, sort of secondarily. Because I mean, it'd be good to get this too. But that's, yeah, less of a priority. I mean, we want to sort of make them as well, just for the sake of moving along the trinkets. Because once we make five, we can add, equip a second one. Yeah. As much as we want to explore, we're definitely going to have to do some serious resource gathering in between it all. Uh, also may as well sleep, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yep. Not yet, but I'm getting sleepy. Uh, okay. That's not very helpful. <laughs> well, should I just wait? I'm just kind of wasteful to just wait, but... Um, ooh, fishing will be good too. Put you on. Um, right, yeah, so good. Oh, there's a dock, isn't there? I reckon we can fish then. Because that'll be really nice. Let's uh, check that recipe. Was, uh, was it this one? That was not all that at all. Yeah, this one. So four carrots, seven potatoes, that's easy. And then we just need the six fish. That, that's a really nice boost. And obviously, yeah, nine of those. So that'll just take the, the time it takes. Ah, I can't believe we're not getting any more boosts from the tomatoes, though. That still sucks. Uh, can we sleep yet? I really would prefer to just sleep first. Must be about there, right? Ah, oh, come on. All right, I'm just going to wait till we can sleep. Then we'll continue on. I don't know. We, I think we want to get the fish... We want hide, we want metal, or iron, and we want the electronic stuff. That's sort of the main things, because that'll push us forward a bit. Where to next indeed? Oh! Oh shit! That bale of, that pile of hay turned into an iron! Oh, very nice. I didn't realize that. 
Wait, do they all? Oh, that one didn't. Was there something else attached to it? Ah. Oh. Well, that didn't repeat. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Not really sure what was up with that then. Huh. And, uh, can we break, uh... Can we break these? I don't know. I'm not sure what has iron and what has scrap metal. Hmm. Anyway. Can we sleep yet? Taking forever for some reason. Really? It's two o'clock. I, I don't get it. And for some reason now, it just is not yet, I'm sleepy, but it doesn't tell you how many hours it's been or anything, so... Hmm, it's kind of annoying. Anyway. Okay, finally. It took him to like 2.30 before we could sleep. I really don't know why. Plus 16 bonus, that'll only be for plus 10 for some reason. Oh wow, these are all ready to go now. Interesting. Yeah, see, plus, I don't know why it does that. It sort of seems weird that there's a few things that seem to be buggy despite this game having like a period up until release and it's even had fixes since. Because that, that's pretty definitively a bug, right? Like, it says you're getting more than 10, you only get 10. Uh, and yeah, all of these are like ready now, so except for. Oh no, that was actually. Uh, okay, I was like, is that one not? But yeah, it is. But so, does sleeping actually pass time then? Because, yeah, they must, right? But I don't think any of them were ready. We'll leave that one for our test. Get all these harvested. Ooh, awesome. Very nice. And I think we'll probably be able to do the corn one by the end. Actually, we'll probably do both by the end of today, I reckon. We only have to go catch six fish, so maybe we'll try that out next, see how difficult it is. That one's, you know, you can't sort of replant them like veggies, so you have to sort of just get what you need with that, I assume. Uh, probably re-equip that for a minute. That was not what I meant to do. Let's get the corn kernels going. And yeah, so we probably wasted some leaves planting this many, although... I suppose it'll be good to keep crops constantly going, right? Even if you use them for health and stuff, I mean... Well, there's no real downside to it, I guess. Should be good. So, we might actually fill that in, just so it's, uh... Although even that could be wasteful, because I don't know how long we're really going to want to stick around here. Hmm. Oh, we have 37 of them now, though. That's kind of insane. Oh, wait. Two potatoes. Did we only plant... Did we only have one planted? Is that why? Did you get three to five? Did we only have one of them planted then? Okay, we must have. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, plant all the cat... Yeah, because we, we do need them. So we'll probably have to do a couple more harvests to get them up and going. So we'll plant all the carrots. And... I guess we'll plant a few tomatoes. I, I don't know, is it even worth it? I mean, we have a crap ton of them already. We can always duplicate them. Well, duplicate seems a weird way to put it, but... Uh, well, actually, we did get EXP from harvesting. Is there more of those? Uh, the metals? Where was it? Farmer. Yeah, alright, th there's more of them, so... I guess we may as well plant up, eh? Because that's pretty nice XP. Alright, I'll get these done. Okay, we are all set there. Let's put those away. Good. Alright, well, I think, uh, let's go try out fishing then. Why not? Because we're not actually too far from a dock. Uh... Yeah, it's just over that way. Let's go give that a shot then. Alright, we'll have to deal with a few of these on the way. Gotta get used to that pattern and not get cocky about it. How did I lose health? Did I actually just get hit just then? God damn it. Thought I did actually okay. I don't know. Well, anyway. Yeah, dock right here. That was, uh... I was very quick to get here, actually. Can we, uh, sit down? Okay. Now I'll just wait until it bites. Yeah, I don't know how this works. 
Do we just wait for something then click? Oh, oh, there we go. Very nice. I don't really know how that worked though. Like, you just wait for anything to happen, then you click. Is there different types of fish? Because that doesn't look like yeah, yeah, that's that's red herring. Okay. I don't know if we. Oh, that's yeah, that that's the one. I'm pretty sure is shown in the picture. Okay, so did I not need to click just then? Because I did click. But I think it actually harvests them by itself. Because if you just have to wait and it harvests by itself, that's super chill. Oh yeah, I. It even recasts. Wait, what? Can you literally just sit here? I'm not pressing anything right now. That that seems a bit insane, right? Because you could like. In theory, couldn't you literally just sit here for hours and hours and hours? Like, as in, like, if you set, like, like, I might be getting ahead of myself here. But if this doesn't stop, if it just keeps it doing this, right? Couldn't you, like, set this up overnight and just leave AFK and get an absolute ass ton of EXP? But then also, if they don't despawn, you could just then just do a, bu hunt, a bunch of trips back and forth from your storage and have, like... An absurd supply of fish. I mean, it, this seems too crazy, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is just... Go and, and we're getting more XP each time. Why does it keep going up? Like, seriously. I... Oh... Nothing. Well, there's plenty of fish in the sea, but not to... Okay. See, I, I keep getting ahead of myself. Like, it's, it's why I like to understand the mechanics. Uh, so does that mean this is... Oh, because there was them ripples in the water. So yeah, maybe you have to wait a certain amount of time. You see, like, I, I, I get an inch and I just go way ahead of myself on what's possible. Okay. Um, so what did we end up with? Oh, we actually got six of them. Oh, nice. Okay, so depending on how those potatoes go, now there's only two and we need, how many do we actually need? Seven, okay, we'll probably have to do at least a couple more harvests so that we have some, a couple of extra. But we should still be able to do that this episode, so that'll be nice. And then, uh... And it's nine of those, right? Yeah, so probably similar with them. But we should still be able to get them both done today, which will be an extra five to our health and um, 12.5 to our crit, so it's really nice. And yes, I'm just going to break this. I like this little area, but this is honestly not helpful in being safe, and we may as well just take the resources. We're not going to stay here forever, I don't imagine. I hope we can actually get ourselves a proper shelter. Like, that's really the one thing I'm hoping for. Somewhere we can actually, like, feel like we're secure. Like, even though we're technically secure here in a sense, like, you kill this one and nothing's gonna wander in. But, like, an actual sort of walled area where we can set up things and stuff. Like, I, I really hope this game has that. Because there is, like... There is this icon that is dedicated to shelter, so... I don't know if there's actually gonna be a more like that, or... Yeah. I guess we will see. But, um... Right, well, we got the fish taken care of, so that's good. Now, what else do we need leather for? There's something else in the backpack. We also need iron. So, where do we want to go? Hmm. Where are we looking there? So, they're, they're quite a... They're quite spread out, eh? Maybe we'll head down here. Go check out what's happening there. Yeah, we need to be mindful of the things we pass. Like, the benches are a good example. I mean, it's very easy to ignore a bench because it's just, like, so natural in the world. But it's also a source of iron for us, so we can't ignore the benches. Uh, but let's head sort of down that way. Go a bit of a roundabout way, if we run into anything useful. 
Um, yeah. There's still, I'm sure there's some more stuff here that we could probably use, but... Oh, shit. Okay, multiple throwy guys. Not ideal. Oop. Oop. And a smack. Oh, not a smack. Almost a smack. And I'm get Okay, yeah, that, um, that message about multiple something thingy on the sickle. It doesn't seem to work for mobs, from what I'm seeing. So, yes, I'm guessing... Oh, shit. I'm guessing it is, like, you can hit up to plus three more things around you if they're obstacles. Um, but, yeah. That would make sense. Um, can we break this? No, we cannot. Damn. Okay. Only so much we can break there. Uh, any benches around? I don't know what else has metal. Or iron, I should say. Oh, we do need you. Do really need you. Uh, let's take these guys down. I don't know where the... There is one of those wolf things down this way somewhere. We're probably going to have to be a little bit careful of that. Or at least we'll make sure we have our stuff dropped off. Oh, that post box. Are they metal? Never know if it's going to be... Ah, 25, eh? Assume we can't sickle it, can we? Actually, I don't know if... I assume it's got to be the... The damage type is how they split them. I don't know, though. We haven't actually tried the machete yet. No. Let's come with that tool. All right. Can we get you... Mm, they're pretty fast. Well, we need to explore anyway. Almost fell down a hole. <laughs> oh, got some throwy guys. Or a throwy guy. Still not good for us. Oop. But I need to be careful with that too. Like, I need to remember to click in the direction I actually want to hit something. Rather than like, because if you get too close up here, you end up, yeah. You gotta actually, yeah, gotta be careful about that. Uh, oh, hello. Mysterious obelisks. There are strange obelisks all over the island. Find out if they could be useful somehow. Okay. I don't remember seeing these obelisks ever before on the island. Okay, interesting. I should inspect more of these, perhaps. Oh, I'm sorry, Bambi. You do have leather, though. And I forgot about the throwing thingy, somehow. Oh wow, terrible. That was terrible aim. I thought they were a bit more lock-on than that. Oh, is this a fishing spot? Yes it is. And uh... Something we can break. That works. Alright, let's uh... Do a little fishing. That is not a fishing rod. Alright, I replaced that, didn't I? Uh, yes. Good. Alright, there we go. So yeah, I guess we can just chill here for a minute. Oh, there we go. We actually uh, got a fair few out of that one, I think. Oh, it might have been about the same. We got more of the red herring than the common roach. Very good. Bit of XP. Hmm. I don't know if you can only fish at these little piers or... Hmm. Anyway, we sort of went off course from that, so we'll go over to these ones and see what's going on there. Because mainly right now we want, yeah, hide, uh, iron, and electronics. That's sort of what we need to push forward, I think. Oh, is this? Nope, that was the same one. <laughs> yeah, we only just passed that, don't mind me. Good. Megs, some more berries. Is that something pickable? No? Okay. Uh, any little yellow boxes around here? <laughs> Um, closest up there. Oh, hello. What the hell are you? Okay. We have a screechy one. Okay. Fast, but not crazy on the hell. Oh, wait, is that like a Jason mask? Ex-human chaser. Okay. I was just trying to get back to that berry. <laughs> But apparently there's some new stuff around here. Okay. I don't know if they're going to slowly get stronger or we'll just get more variety or 
a bit of both. Hmm. Anyway, I didn't actually, well, I assume those barriers will be there whenever we run into them again. Good. Make sure we clear this out. Oh, bowl, bowel, like, camping ground there. Wait, did that say camping or hunting? I sort of looked away as I read that. Okay, yeah, it's, it's interesting that they actually chase the, the wildlife, eh? Hmm. What are you, oh, mushrooms. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, nice. Looks like we'll be able to get a few resources here. Probably shouldn't have wasted on that, but it's fine. Oh, we do have a... Ah, I guess I didn't see that. I have pictures of this place on the shelter wall. I see. Used to come here from time to time to spend some time away from it all. Is that right? Well, it looks like a good spot for us to gather some resources. And we can do a little fishing, it looks like. Maybe? Oh no. Oh yeah, I see some ripples. Very good. Well, let's tear this place apart, I suppose. <laughs> the thing to do, right? And... I guess... Hmm. Yeah, I guess the way to do it is like... If you're being systematic, go around, break everything you possibly can with your sickle. Until there's nothing left. And then use your crowbar. I think that's probably the way to go. So that's all good. Get the crowbar out. Although I think, it, yeah, we... I think we actually covered everything except for the bed anyway. We can break... Oh no, that's... Oh yeah, you can break that, right. But it seems weird that you can break those things that are... Like, important. I don't know. Like, if you broke every single cooking thing in the game, could you no longer cook? Although I guess, yeah, we can actually make a cooking thing now, can't we? Or, uh, like, a stand one. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Just thinking. Anyway, that's good. Ooh, bench. See? Ah, it's... Like, I know, but it's like... They just blend in so easily. Hard to think of bench equals resources. Even though it's an important one now, too. We actually need a good chunk more. Uh, that. Iron. Hello, fridge. What do you got for me? Uh, not as special now that I can grow them, but still good. And looks like this is another job for the sickle. Okay, that is that all clear, I would say. Other than need to drop them off and grab the materials. I keep going into, like, uh, yeah, old school GTA mode like this. Uh, it's much more comfortable like this, but it is, uh, nice for smashing things in the houses when you're up like that. Like, you, can, you get a lot better view. Um, I wonder if we can smash that bit on the side of the house, actually. I'll try that. But it's a part of the wall. Because that looks separate, actually. Oh, it is. Nice. Because that looks like it could be metal. Oh, and it is. Ah, didn't expect that, actually. I wonder if we've missed any of those in other houses. Hmm. assume there's no more. No, but that's something to keep in mind, eh? There wasn't one on this one, was there? Store them. Oh, I was wondering if that would actually continue if I walked away like that. That's cool. Alright, very nice. We've, uh, fair stripped those, I would say. And we should probably still go check out that other one that was close by. We have, uh... Well, they're down a bit. Uh, sort of close by. Yeah, we've got those two there. Probably worth checking out. But first, we might want to do a quick fish. Well, we'll get rid of these couple first so we don't get bothered. Good. Yeah, that... Ooh, our health's down a bit, eh? Oh, mushroom. I mean, obviously mushroom, but I think that's the first red one we've got. Oh, there's a mini house thing here. Okay. Interesting. Oops. That didn't work. Oh. Oh, wow. That's quite the throw. There we go. What do we got in the fridge? Oh, wheat. Cool. It might open up some other recipes. Alright, well, let's clear this little place out. Not much to actually clear, but a few resources. Alright, got those all the way, and now we can do a little fishing. Other than, what do you say? Fishing allowed. Oh, fair enough. Oh! 
Oh my. Oh my. Oh no. What happens to my resources? Oh, the body is there. I was like, oh my god, what happens to our stuff? Okay. Didn't realize that could happen. Wow, alright. Does that make this place, like, risky to be then? What am I doing? Not hitting. I can't believe that. I just rolled straight off. I just hit space. I, I always forget about space, honestly. Because it is actually a, you know, valid way to fight things, too. I sort of got used to, you know, running up clo- oh shit. Yeah, running up and hitting like that. Wow, I can't believe it could fall off like that. That was very surprising. Okay. Don't press space then. Oh wait, did we break this? I think, oh right, yeah, because these chairs, they're plastic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, don't want to waste that. What about you? Yeah, more plastic. Alright, don't want to waste that. Definitely not. Alright. Oh no! Oh my god. I think this might be a Black Desert Online reflex. Because of the <laughs> pressing uh, space to start fishing. Ah. Uh, man. Okay. That is so awkward. I don't know why it hasn't happened previously. But nonetheless. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. And I don't want to fish with these being nearby. <laughs> which is awkward. So we are going to kill these again. You know, if we really wanted to farm plastic, that guy seems to drop them reliably. We, we could just keep resetting and doing that. Be excessive, but there's an option. Okay, now. Do not press space, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, achievement unlocked. Fish, you were here. Very nice. Not sure why my Steam achievement just came in from the top right, but sure. And actually, oh shit, yeah, we may actually uh, get a level out of this. Uh, actually, maybe not. Like, fishing's okay, but it's not crazy that... Still, we're, we're very close to level 12, so that'll be nice. Oh no, we may actually get it. Nice. I thought, like, because we're getting up in levels that that little gap might be more than I was thinking, but... And it looks like we also got a new fish, so that's nice. Oh, there we go, actually. Hell yeah. Very good. Oh, new invention tackle, okay. Maybe increases the chance for rarer fish or something? Hmm. Superior salmon. Very good. Get our weapon back out. Don't really want to travel with a fishing rod. Alright, very nice. So, um, I guess we may as well camp, right? We've, we haven't actually killed many things. We want to get our perks, so. All right, choose a skill. Plant grow speed plus 20%. Oh, that's interesting. And we should probably go check our plants actually too. Eat edible materials you're carrying to regain hit points. Press F to open. That, that is interesting. Because what does that mean? Like, hmm. Because if that means you can just, like, eat raw carrots and stuff, or raw tomatoes to gain health, I mean, that that could be some pretty... That could be pretty OP for us, in a sense. We could also do that. Th this feels like one that could be worth it, because it's more of a functional addition that's permanent. I just don't know how worthwhile it is, either. These, I don't think, are a big deal. We don't need them that fast. Like, it's useful, but at the same time, it seems like we only need a limited amount, so I don't think it's actually that worth it. I don't hate the idea of expanding our bag again, to be honest, because we only need hide to get ourselves an upgrade anyway, and at that point, our bag's looking pretty nice. Uh, eat edible materials you're carrying to regain hit points. I wish the- I, I would like elaboration on this one, because I don't know if it's going to be limited or how that would actually work. Because it sounds very useful, potentially, like being able to avoid, um, you know, the respawns and stuff. But it seems like that could also be short-lived for us, because as soon as we get the deadly transmission thing, at least as I understand it, then we can just throw it in any new area we go to once we get the tower, and then bam, things aren't respawning, unless we choose, so... And that's more my, my main concern, with staying alive and stuff with the hit points, so... Uh, yeah, 
You know, I might go pack rat again. I think we will get this. But yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Okay. I'm a bit indecisive. <laughs> Just trying to be efficient, you know. But, um... Other than that... Take a look at... What did the cooking stand need, actually? Not that we want it right now, but... Oh, enables cooking at campfires. Interesting. Oh, it's kind of cool then. That's just like a, yeah, unlocks a feature like that. Um, what was the thing we actually got the tackle that was there? Yeah. Piece of equipment custom made for catching fish quicker. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a trinket. Yeah, that, that's not really worth it to us. I mean, maybe that'll be something we make just for the sake of the trinket slot, but uh, yeah, I can't imagine using it too often. Ooh, compass. I think we'll hold off on that. I want to get this. We only need three more iron. Although this is iron, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess to be fair, I want to upgrade this, but this would probably be the better one to get first. I mean, in the end, we just need quite a bit more iron, eh? Alright, very good. Well. Uh, we can get rid of that. Where do we want to go from here? I guess maybe we'll go over to these, as I said, because they probably have the best potential for useful resources. Um, oh, right, you can see the benches on here, can't you? So you can't tell if you've broken them or not. Hmm. Uh, let's mark that. Yeah, all right. Let's head over that way. Um, I can go the easiest way to there. I think that's just what we need right now. We just we just need some resources. <laughs> Definitely want rubber if we can get it. So it'll be oh, there's another one of these guys. Interesting. They're so oh, they're fast. Oh shit. Yeah, they're definitely fast. That's for sure. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what all we're going to be facing in terms of uh, different mobs over time, eh? It's always interesting to see the new ones. Okay. How are we looking here? Okay. Hello? Come on. I don't want to deal with you in the house. That, that just seems like a recipe for disaster. And a shump. And a shump. And a shump. And a smush. Smush. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, very good. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got some goodies in here, that's for sure. We don't... I really like it when there's a storage nearby. Uh, okay, we have a radio icon, that's interesting. Oh, we do have a storage nearby. Well, hello. Aren't you nice? Oh, hell yeah. I'll take me one of these. Very good. What do you got for me in the car? Some cloth, sure, why not? Also break that. Or I forget about it. More cloth, why not? Oh, very nice. We can uh, tear that house apart then. Go check out over this one. Good. Dodge and smack. Good. Just the one of you in here. Okay. We have a search on that. What might you have? Oop. That. Can I search? Oh. No. No, I cannot. That is this. Oh, hello. Awesome. Oh, chili soup. Backstabbing damage plus 25. Oh, okay. Interesting. We actually aren't far off being able to use that. Radio icon, really? I... I had not recalled radio icons. No, I guess they... They do show up until they break. That's the thing, like... If I break this, I can never listen to it, right? That, that seems crazy. Avoid the coordinates, E13 and U7 at all cost. Do not enter. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay... Avoid the coordinates, E13 Be quiet now. and... I've heard you. <laughs> oh yeah, they're not even really worth breaking though, are they? I keep forgetting they don't have electronics in them. Which I really do think they should. 
Makes sense to me. Ooh, hello. You look like you could have electronics. Ah. Can we sickle? I don't think we can. No, we cannot. That is unfortunate. Alright. Let's tear out the cupboards. Is this, um... Okay, so we still have that one up there. Oh, and there's a quest down there, apparently. Okay. Interesting. What are we gathering? Oh. Okay. I don't really understand where that was, but sure. That works for me. Break these. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll just clear out this little spot. Ooh, we can break this pile of stuff too, apparently. Why not? Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to clear this. I'll finish clearing that house. And I'm also going to break everything in here as well. I uh, don't think there's anything too interesting to see here. Pretty normal stuff, I think. Oh, we got some more spices. That should be useful. More plastic. That's the good stuff. We need some electronics from the TV. Hopefully. Am I hitting the TV? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what... Hmm. Looked like I couldn't break it for a second, though. Better search. Still not sure about the whole searching versus breaking part of it. Anyway, I'll uh, get all these broken up and collect it up. Oh, we missed the fridge. What do we got? Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, got those all cleared out. And just for reference, this is our current resources. Which, uh, we actually have a lot more plants than I thought we already did. Wow, really? We burned through a lot of them doing, uh, hoeing the dirt. Or plowing the dirt. Using the hoe. Uh, didn't realize we've got that many again already, so that's nice. Got quite a bit of fabric, tons of wood, plenty of scrap metal. Got our ceramics up there again a bit. Plenty of cloth. Definitely needing, yeah, we sort of really need hide. We need plastics, rubber, scrap electronics. Uh, they're the main ones, really. But yeah, uh, I was going to say, let's head up um, and check this out. Which, yes. But we may want to actually jump back up to our farm real quick. I reckon they're about ready for a harvest. Um, maybe we'll go here first. Yeah, let, let's check out here first, then we'll head up towards our farm. Alright, where's that then? It's getting towards night time, which... I don't really know what to do about, because the sleeping thing's kind of awkward. Hmm. Anyway. Let's head up here. What have we got? House under construction. Someone was going to build a house here. No enemies. Did they anticipate a bright future? Oh. We have a big boy. That's not good. Eat a knife, please. Okay. So you're a bit like that guy at the front thing, maybe? Which means... Alright. Probably not actually too big a deal, then. A little awkward, but probably not a big deal. Uh... Okay. Yeah. I think it's just one of the things got to hit a couple times. Get out of the way. Wait. Hit. This, these are the kind of things where the knives seem like they could be good to upgrade. For the sake of, like, being able to... Oh, shit. I couldn't some of it. Um, like, you get more of them, plus some more damage and that. And that way, like, you run into a mob like this, you can sort of take it out pretty easy. Um, even if it's only the one you can take out per rest sort of thing. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's down. Break some stuff. Uh, hello there. It is actually really nice having the expanded inventory now. It's actually helping quite a bit. Oh, there's some good resources here, eh? You can get rubber from this. Good chunk of plastic. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, oh shit. One of those craft benches. I don't really want to break them, but... There's only limited use we can actually get out of them. Like, you know, within an area. Alright, I think that's about all we need from here. Just broke up everything. And I think I'll meet you back at the farm. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Maybe we'll break one later just to see what comes out of it. But we're full here anyway, so yeah. I'll meet you at the farm. Oh yeah, looks like we've got a bit going on here. Looks like 
Oh, it looks like everything except for them we can harvest. That's still fine. I think that these are, like, I don't think they must rot or anything. Um, yeah, because they're not as OP as they first seemed, you know? <laughs> so they probably don't do anything. We'll still keep that there for a little while, just for the sake of testing. Oh, okay, that is way faster. So you can just do this, or you can just take the sickle and just start chopping. And I don't think it hits them. Yeah, so if they're not ready to harvest, you can't even hit them. Oh my god, that is so much faster, eh? Look at that. <laughs> and they're not done yet, unfortunately, the potatoes. Must be still a little off on those. Uh, how are we looking there? So we got, yeah, what's 71, 23? That's kind of crazy, actually. Um, I think we'll plant some carrots, maybe. Well, yeah, I guess you still, yeah. I'm, I'm being lazy, I think, because of, we already have so many. But at the same time, it's still worth it because you progress on that achievement thingy, which then gets us EXP, so... Probably best to get them all planted. Oh, I just realized we actually got enough rubber for our crowbar. It must have been that tire on the way back. Oh, they were 13, so maybe it wasn't. Either way, we do, so that's nice. I was thinking, we're one iron off the Link Tower toolkit. And is there anything else we need plastic for, or can we do that? I mean, we can either way. Are we ready to take a rest? Oh wait, we can look at, we can look through this anyway. Um, so I feel like there was something else I wanted to upgrade that needed plastic. I mean, there's a few things, but I meant in the immediate. Ah, the machete. But I think like, yeah, I mean, we this will match the sickle with one upgrade, which means we really just need two more before we start using it. But we probably want to get that link thing first. Yeah, so we'll stick with that. Plastic stacking up. There's plenty of resources around. Uh, backpack, we just need four hides. Do we want to go with the crowbar? I feel like we should, but part of me is like hesitant because... I'm sort of surprised how quickly it seems like the sickle's going to be obsolete. Beyond, say, gathering certain things. Like, as if we're tearing through a house and you can hit multiple things at once, this is actually really good. But it's still, like, this is going to outclass the damage so fast. Which does make me... Actually, well... Does make me wonder if it wouldn't be better getting that first, because, you know, the higher the damage, the more resources we can get. But either way, I think I might go with the bag of blood. Oh, they go, yeah. Oh, I'm so indecisive about these things. Depends how fast we can get iron and stuff. Well, either way, let, let's take a rest for the minute. Oh shit, they're actually done. Oh. Yeah, okay, let's harvest them. See how many we get out of it. Three. I think it's three to five for these, isn't it? Ah, okay. Hmm. Not quite what I was hoping for. I think uh, we may have to do that recipe next time, because I think we're going to need, yeah, one more harvest of these. So that's too bad. I didn't factor, like, quite how long they take. And you know what? I'm just going to assume these are fine and be lazy and harvest these so we can plant that. Uh, yes, plant. <laughs> So yeah, uh, ne next episode we'll be able to harvest them and do a couple of recipes, so that'll be nice. Because I think... Uh, well, let's go here first. So... Ah, we're really stuck on the iron, aren't we? Because I want to do multiple things we probably won't get to do this episode, because it's still, it's relying on iron. The link tower kit, the compass, upgrading the machete. Yeah, we're really... Hmm. Got a lot of things I was hoping to do today. We may have to push to the next one. Because even, like, the bag of blood. Tempting. We're fine on ceramics. I don't mind them now. But then... I feel like the machete is actually a real priority. Because it's our path to actually new materials right now. It's, like, the only thing that's going to push us beyond, like, 35. 
But we could still upgrade our crowbar, which is a different category. And... Yeah, it seems like... Well... At best, we get something new at 15. But these lines make it hard to know, because like... Yeah, like, this is slashing the same as this. So... But then if, if these go along as trinkets, maybe? Like, it could be that this line, the branches to these, are all gonna be, like, these type of tools. Maybe an axe, maybe other things. Whereas these lines might be all trinkets, is sort of my thinking. Which, if that's the case, it's gonna be, at best, level 20 before we actually get a new blunt type thing, so... I think with that in mind, we will go ahead and finish the crowbar upgrade. There we go. Boom. Very good. And I don't remember what all, but that does already open up a few things in the area. The machete... Oh, it's tempting. Not that we technically can yet, but... Yeah, plastic and metal. They're really the big ones right now. Hopefully we can actually get some more metal because of that upgrade. That'd be kind of nice. But our backpack, oh, it's so close too, isn't it? But it needs iron, so I think we have to hold off on that. Yeah, I sort of underestimated the iron when I was talking about doing certain things. So maybe I should just wait and see what happens in an episode. <laughs> Probably the smarter play. Yeah, so... I don't think we're worried about tackle. That's low priority. It's really the compass, the link kit. Upgrade that. Upgrade machete, but I, yeah, I want to. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll just make the decision now. We will do this next. We'll worry about the machete and compass after that, because I, I think we do want to get this going for the sake of the quest. Um, what else? Is there anything else we can do right now? I was gonna. I was just thinking we could go grab the hide to do this, but yeah, we will hold off because of the iron. Man, iron's really holding us back here. Eh? Plastic a little as well, because there's a few things we need it for, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll save the plastic for the machete, I think. Although, you know what? By the time we get enough iron, we're probably going to get enough plastic again. We're only five off. Ah, uh, no way, sorry, this is this is 30, so... Yeah, we'd, we'd need to gather up. Oh, yeah, no, it's only 20. Right, so we'd only need 15 anyway. Yeah, alright, let's do a bag of blood and upgrade them. Very good. And, oh, so we need the, the mana beads. Interesting. Okay. Still, nice to get a bit more health there. Hmm. Oh, they only need hide. Okay. That's one that would be worth upgrading then. Because hide's easy to get, really. It's just a matter of going and doing it. Which, uh, actually... Maybe we'll, we'll do that. Let's try and do that right now, actually. Why not? I, th I think that'd actually be a good use of our time. Because that way we can... We'll probably wrap up after that. I'm not... Yeah. It's probably about time for that. I'm, my recorder's a bit off. I'm not actually sure how long I've been recording, but... It's probably about good. And that way we can actually start off next time doing a full rest, hopefully. I don't know, it just feels like a good one to upgrade and we can get more hide as needed. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know the best spot for it. Oh yeah, oh wow, there's four yellow dots over here, hell yeah. Let's go for that then. Okay, yeah, it's a bit awkward because they do run. But they, they do seem to turn around, which helps. Okay, that one just wasn't smart. Okay, no leather so far. But this does look like maybe the place to get leather. So we can always rest and then come straight down here again. Without sort of running into anything. Uh, where are you going to go? Somewhere awkward? Oh. Okay, we have something here. Oh, did we get... Oh my god, we didn't get a single bit of hide out of that. I remember these ancient stone formations. Nobody seemed to know exactly what their purpose was. 
Okay. A little anticlimactic. Okay, yeah, these not not the smartest sometimes. Oh, they're still yeah. The the rates aren't the best actually, is it? Like five of them equals one hide in that case. But it is also said like it's quite close to us, so we can sort of run up here and avoid fighting anything on the way if we want to. Except for you, you're annoying. I really wish this one didn't exist. Like, it's so bothering that we have this pretty safe area, except for that. Like, low threat, but... You know what I mean? Hmm, okay. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's fine. Because we want them to respawn anyway, but... How many was it for that? Ah, uh, two more. Okay. Oop, that's one more hide. Oop, very nice. 130 animals, 4,800 EXP. But still not going great with the hides. <laughs> it seems like... Well, currently I've been averaging like one hide per five of these. Which is really not great. But in terms of like the number of deers around, this seems to be actually a pretty good spot. You can run straight down here, rest. Have to kill like maybe one of these on the way and it's just the weak ones. So, even if you're being lazy and get hit like that, no big deal. So if you really had to farm them, that's probably the best spot we have right now. Even though it's not great. <laughs> But we did get enough to upgrade our sleeping bag, so I'll take it. Uh, could go one more for the bag, but I'll hold off on that. I think we we just need more metal. Hopefully we can find a decent supply of it next time. Alright, um, there's definitely nothing else more worth it for the hide, right? No, I think we're pretty good. We can always get more, I said. And the backpack, we yeah need to prioritize the iron elsewhere for now. So let's do that. And boom. Which I don't know like how much benefit there is to these, because like it just gives you more and more to sleep, but as I don't know if like you get a better chance of like a bonus from like the rest bonus with that or something, or I don't know. I'm also not sure about how this works, so like I had to wait till like 2 30 last time, so don't really know about that. If we have to, like, at least wait at the same time every night, or... Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, I think that'll uh, probably about do it for this one. Um... Yeah, we'll be able to just, uh, rest in... At the start of the next one, we'll rest and start the day fresh early, and... From there, we might head out a little bit, trying to... Explore a bit further. Maybe we'll try and make our way up to there. Like I said, there's always resources we can gather, we can always spend time on it, but it could be worth sort of just doing like a quick run up to some of these. And in terms of resource gathering, we can just like grab any sort of metal from benches and stuff, just sort of keep it minimal. Focus on the metal, the, the electronic scraps, and plastics probably. And then sort of leave anything else um, for just sort of bulk collection later or something like that. Because those are the main ones we actually need. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, that's what we really need to move forward right now. So that could be good. Which, uh, actually... Oh, we might be able to actually uh, do a quick meal before we end. That'd be nice. Yeah. Let's do that. That's enough to replant and to cook. So we can do a corn cob. Wait, how many do we actually have? Yeah, no, we got plenty. Oh, yeah. Max five hit points. Cook and eat. How does that... Oh, wait. Oh, can we not? Oh, because if you click this, it just goes in. I thought it was going to do that. Okay. That doesn't work then? Okay. I guess maybe the first time you got to do it manually, even if it shows the recipe. Good. And boom. Oh, yeah. That should be, yeah, 50 hit points now with our upgrade to that as well. Awesome. That is really nice. And, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I'll get those replanted. But for now, I would just say thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. Because I, I still am. I'm really liking this. I think I'm, I'm definitely going a bit slow with it, in a sense. It's going to take a while, but I'm just enjoying the ride, man. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll, um... Maybe we'll make the goal of the next one actually to link up all these. I'm not that worried about that door, but 
that feels like it could be a reasonable goal. Just sort of cruise up to each pretty casually. Not sort of get too thorough with it all. Just, you know, mark them out, get them there. Because then we can also get these at the same time on the way. And then if we can sort of roll that all into getting the link towers set up and get the compass. Yeah, the compass. That way we can actually fast travel, move some quest progress along. Yeah, no, I think that'll be really good. Oh, right, that's that thing over there. There's another one there, right. Hopefully we get the lockpick soon too, that would be good. And actually we're almost level 13, so that's nice. Hmm, very good. But yeah, just again, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any suggestions, things I should check, missed, try, any of that kind of stuff. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.